Hey guys, my name is Noel and you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so sorry guys, I've been extremely busy, busy. So, I've not uploaded video so recently on my page. Uh, it has been a very busy period for me, but I will try my best to make it up for you guys. You guys know what I do here on my channel. The idea is to help you guys assess important information on how you can study abroad uh, at a very affordable tuition fees. I'm here to create awareness to let you guys understand how the process works so that you can be able to um, use that knowledge to make your own application by yourself. So, because I believe that the reason why a lot of people fall into the hands of wrong people, um, dishonest people with respect to admission process and all those travel stuff is because they are not well informed on how the process works. And also they are desperate, they don't have the patience to do basic research or they are, they were misinformed by people they trusted. So because of those wrong decisions, they, they do it the wrong way. But if you have access to the right information, you will be able to do it yourself. So today, a lot of people have been asking me about admission in areas like in hospitality management, uh, hospitality management. So today, I'm gonna give you guys a very good information on how you can study an English taught bachelor's degree programs in a very beautiful uh, college in Prague. Prague is the capital of the Czech Republic. You know, the capital, capital city is a beautiful city, one of the uh, hottest uh, tourist destination in Europe. And uh, it's relatively very, uh, very safe and cost of living is not high. With a lot of uh, tourist attractions, one of the best transportation networks and very affordable. You could spend roughly 150 euros for the whole year. Let's say less than 170 euros for a whole year transport fare. Just get your card. You can use that in underground trains, train, metro, uh, tram and, and buses within Prague. That's what you're going to spend maybe in a month in London. And by the way, it's also a beautiful city. So this bachelor's degree program in hospitality management um, at the University College Prague, University College Prague, I came across this information a few days ago and I felt that I need to uh, pass that to my wonderful subscribers, those who come to my page for authentic, reliable information because I've read a lot of uh, questions and inquiries on my channel and I know a decent number of people who have interest in hospitality management and that's why I'm making this video. So, Bachelors in Hospitality Management at the University College, Prague. This is fully taught in English. And uh, why do you need to study at uh, this University College, Prague? Uh, it's a unique program based on what I read from their website. Uh, it's the only university uh, that focuses on hospitality, uh, tourism, and marketing. I mean, this is what they claim on their website. And also, I think it also seems likely because there's not a lot of university that focuses in this area, especially uh, when it's taught in English. Also, they claim to have excellent facilities up to two restaurants and bars in the, in the college, in the higher institution. And also, you have opportunity to have interesting internships. They have a lot of uh, partners that they work with. So, during the course of your bachelor's program, you could do your internship, uh, work experience in one of their partner hotels or marketing companies and I think that will be easier for you since they only have some kind of collaboration with these uh, partners. 
There's also opportunity for you to uh, get involved in Erasmus program. Erasmus is the European Union kind of uh, exchange program whereby you can go to universities in other countries within the European Union, even outside the European Union. For example, you know that Prague, uh, Czech Republic is in the Schengen zone, so you can travel to any of the 26 other member states without any need for visa because you have free movement within the member states. So you could decide to do your Erasmus either in Prague or somewhere else, in Paris, in Milan, in Switzerland, um, in Portugal. Porto is beautiful. I've been, I've been there. I was there during the summer. Uh, Latvia and all the places in European Union, you, know, you can go and do your Erasmus program there. And uh, sometimes they give them some fun for that. So this is, these are one of the, some of the benefits for you studying at this university college in Prague. Also, the admission procedure is pretty much very simple, uh, seamless process. You just need to fill out the application form online. Just go to their website, University College Prague, and then you follow these simple three, three way steps. Fill out and submit the application form. And then uh, there's a contract, an invitation to the school. Maybe if you are around Prague or within the European Union, you could come to the school to have a tour, look at the facilities, ask some questions about the school and all that. And then the next step will be enrollment and beginning of your study. So, and note that tuition fees must be paid by the deadline specified in the contract, your admission offer, before your program starts. And then you have to complete the enrollment and be, become student officially after paying the tuition fees. Also, for international applicants, you have to also, you must apply for the recognition of your foreign diploma, like your high school certificate. You have to apply for the recognition of that in the Czech Republic Ministry of Education. That is what is called nostrification, right? So, in other words, the recognition of your high school or foreign diploma, because you obtain that outside the Czech Republic based on the law, educational law of the country, not just here, most countries abroad, like the European Union, even in Luxembourg, you have to apply officially for the Czech Minister of Education, Czech Republic, to recognize your foreign diploma as the equivalent of what is obtainable in their country. So this is a mandatory requirement. And if you go to the university, the college website, University College Prague, if you look at the procedure of application, you see the link on how you can apply for this recognition of your foreign diploma certificate, the so-called nostrification. This is a mandatory requirement. And I suggest that you start the process on time because it could be a little, a little bit bureaucratic process. It could take you two months, uh, more or less to finalize this process. So the earlier you start the process, the better for you. So you can finish on time to get admission and also to plan for your visa application. Also, if you are applying from Africa, especially from Nigeria and some of the West African countries, know that to get appointment at the Czech embassy, for example, in Abuja, Nigeria, can be challenging because they have monthly um, number of applicants that they want to admit for interview. Uh, they have monthly quotas, okay? And sometimes if you send email for request, it will come back quickly that spaces are filled up. So you need to time it exactly at the time, the right time they stipulated for you to apply for the request for uh, the uh, visa appointment. And you have to keep trying. There's only one opportunity each month. So that means you have to start on time, get admission on time. So you have several months to try a uh, request for the appointment so that at least you might be lucky. The second trial, first trial, third trial. But the worst thing in life is not to try. You can be lucky. You may be lucky. Your first request, you get an appointment. So take them step by step. When you get to the bridge, you cross the bridge. Don't be discouraged by the difficulty in getting admission, to get, getting an appointment at the Czech Embassy in Nigeria. This is their procedure. This is their process. Every country has their processes and they have the right to 
uh, stipulate how they want to operate their system. It's your job to find a way to succeed by starting on time, being patient, and persevering towards that process until you get what you want. But because remember, um, success is not a tea party, you have to work for it, and consistency is key to success. And above all, you have the power to bend reality and create your own future. And let's go to the tuition fees for this bachelor's program in hospitality uh, management. So if you're gonna pay uh, your tuition fee annually, so you'll be charged for 3,500 check run per semester. This is for annual payment arrangement. Annual payment means you're gonna pay for the two semesters at once, yearly. Okay, there are two semesters per year. So if you wanna have annual payment arrangement for your tuition fees, it will cost you for, for the 3,000, 500 check gram per semester and based on today's foreign exchange rate I tried to convert that online that will be approximately 1724 euros per semester which I think is pretty much decent because such program in the UK in America or Canada come on it's way 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 times 10 of this very expensive so relatively I think it's a fair uh, tuition fees for you to pay uh, roughly 1,724 euros per semester for annual payment arrangement. If you want to pay per semester, that means you pay your tuition fees every semester, that will be 44,500 check run. Again, based on today's uh, foreign exchange conversion rate, that will be approximately 1,763 euros per semester. So whichever uh, means you want to choose to pay your tuition fees, the prices are there. You can access more of this information via the university website, uh, the college website, University College Prague. And I think the application is probably on now because I tried to uh, register and it was accessible, which means it might be on. So log in there right now and start your registration slash application process and make sure you read extensively how you can uh, apply for the recognition of your high school diploma, your foreign diploma, the so-called notification. Every details is, uh, there's a link on this university uh, webpage on how you can do that. And start the process on time so you can have more time to apply for your visa, uh, get your set statement of account ready and then start trying your luck in getting an appointment if you're from Nigeria at the Czech Embassy Abuja. And if you want to have more, if you want to make an inquiry, the email address of the University College Prague is studijni at ucp.cz. That is S T U D I. S-T-U-D-I-J-N-I -I at ucp.cz Please just uh, visit the university website to confirm this email address and then you can see it right there below the page on their webpage. So, try now and see if you can register for this program. It is a unique one, taught in English and the tuition fees is pretty much reasonable and the earlier you start the better for you. And the college, they have a campus, I think, also somewhere outside Prague, but Prague is beautiful, and you can study this bachelor's in hospitality management at the University College Prague, the beautiful city of Prague, one of the most beautiful city in Europe. Lovely city, uh, peaceful, uh, safe relatively, uh, cost of living relatively moderate and modest. Um, security is, is fairly decent. Transportation efficient and affordable. Efficiency and affordability. You're gonna pay about 3,600 something check round per year, roughly 160 something euros, plus or minus yearly. Once you get your travel card, you can use that in the tram, 
get surface train kind of underground metro and the bus. That's it. And the connection is pretty much straightforward. So, and you're gonna be in the central Europe. Prague is bordered by Vienna, four hours from here, you are in Austria, Vienna. Bordered by Germany, bordered by Slovakia and Poland. So those four countries around Czech Republic. And besides, you can go to any other countries in the European Union without any need for new visa as long as you are legally residing in the Czech Republic. Remember, be of good behavior when you come to a new country, obey the law of the land. Don't abuse the system, okay? Know why you are there. Focus on your studies. If you have to work, make sure your job does not affect your studies, which is your primary responsibility of coming to the country in the first place. Stay out of trouble, stay out of crime, be of good conduct, try to be part of the community, you know, volunteer, be a good person in the community, let your impact be felt. And at all time, remember your purpose in life, why you're in that country, why you're existing, and what you want to be in your life. Don't allow nobody to distract you and make you lose focus on who you are because you are responsible for your actions. If you do the right thing, if you work hard, if you're patient, if you persevere and you are consistent, no distant time, you will achieve your goals in life. Remember, success comes with hard work and hard work is good work. Above all, you have the power to bend reality and create your own future Ignore the noise and believe in yourself. It's about your mindset. If you believe you can, then you can. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. Drop your question. Follow me on Instagram, inspired underscore noir. And on Twitter, at Destiny Realize. I am the one investor. Thank you. And God bless you. Really good.